Hey guys, thanks for watching. Be Better Golf. Click the subscribe button, it really helps. This week at the Be Better Golf School, at beautiful Golden Horseshoe in Colonial Williamsburg, Virginia. Very nice. We're, we're the day after, and we during the class we did a lot, a lot of live broadcasts, and that's the reason I want you guys to click the subscribe button and that little bell. You won't see the live broadcast when it happens unless you've clicked that little bell because then the notification will go out that uh, we were live. And they are a lot of fun. And that, and that way, it get, the feedback gets to be a lot more instant. Today, Tony, we're uh, this is Tony Lutzak from ReactionaryGolf.com, my coach. Uh, today, Tony, haven't hit too many balls because we were uh, with a really cool group of guys that came out to the school. Got a lot of work done this weekend. Yeah. I, I have to count the videos. I mean, I think we shot over a hundred and some different videos. I swear it's, it's, it's near a hundred. So now's the time for me to work on my game. You guys kind of know the history of what I've been working on. Uh, at the end of this video, I'll try to put in like, maybe I'm going to go backwards. I'm going to try to find the first swing of mine on the channel, put that there, and then we'll put my swing here. Um, results have gotten better. The look has gotten better. It kind of goes together. We're talking about driver here. And Tony, uh, so my, I want to hit, I feel like my club head speed, like we were just doing a different video. So a club head speed 112, ball speed 157. Uh, Golden Horseshoe, here we are. We have actual real range balls. These are uh, Titleist Pro V1s. Nice. We have actually real golf balls, not range balls. So, uh, but I've always felt that, like, there's guys on tour that have one, I don't know what their machines, you know, if they're different or whatever. Right. But we have guys on tour with 112 that are closer to like a 167. So about 10 miles an hour more speed. So where, let's let's just assume that the dry, the equipment's okay. Well, that's where I would say, <laughs> right. I, I think we got to put an asterisk there. Oh, okay, okay. So it could be an equipment issue. Uh, there's a company that I've done some stuff with before that's coming out with a new driver that I'm really excited about in like August. Really? Yeah, it's like on an embargo, but I, but I'm I'm gonna be getting that one. <laughs> okay. So um, that'll be exciting. But where is a place that I might be able, even with this driver, to hit solid shots that are a little hotter, and and the window of misses are a little more narrow. I think what we need to find is where is the exact sweet spot on that driver. Okay. Uh, if you remember a few, I don't know, a few many years ago, whatever, mm -hmm. a high toe shot was like actually on the older drivers. On the older drivers was actually your your hot spot, and so that's one thing we would want to find out is where is the hot spot on this driver, because it may not be in the center. Okay. You mm -hmm. know, because you have manufacturing variances mm -hmm. and everything else, so that's what we would want to find out. So we would want to say, okay, let's let's go ahead and measure where it is on the face, see what the numbers are, you know, and then find out what if there's a correlation with a specific number in space. You know what? So a great way to do that at home, go to the dollar store because it's the cheapest place to get this foot spray. I got this at Dollar Tree. But I just thought I don't want to cover up my iridescent strips for our launch monitor here. I actually don't, th I think it'll still read it, but that's okay. So I'm just going to do this. Tony, so... 90% of new drivers, where, where's the best place to aim to get? Let, let's walk in closer. Okay. We're going to make the assumption that the, the engineering is perfect, and we're going to say it's going to be right about there. It's just a little bit above the equator of the club. And dead, dead center. center. Dead, dead center. center. Okay, that's, so what, that's what we're going to start out with. We're going to make a little line here, you guys can see. A little line through the center there. And we want just center right above it. there. Yeah. Okay. That's a good starting point. And we just did a video on external focus, and doing the foot spray on your face uh, really helps people narrow down what they're thinking about. Like, all I'm trying to do is make Hit a, a good spot. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Okay, so now we're going to get a little bit into the golf lesson of how to do it. So let's hit, hit a couple shots, see what the numbers are. Okay, so let's, let's create that same path. Let's, let's go two degrees in the out. Mm -hmm. So let's do this, Tony, just to, to illustrate for me and also illustrate for other people because what two degrees would look like from this kind of thing. So that'd be zero. That would be okay. zero. See that, guys? Like zero. And, and then, two degrees is not much. No, how I much? mean, just barely. Right there. <laughs> okay, zero. Uh, yeah. Two. Yeah, well, so if you, if you have like a, just an analog watch and you think about it, you know, if, if we're going from 12 to 6 as being straight, obviously 90 degrees is where. 
that would be over here at nine o'clock. Yeah. So if you think about the faces on the watch, that's there's 360 degrees. So, so we're talking about 631. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's it's not much. So 12, 6, 31. Okay. So this is going to be a 631 delivery here. Okay, that that was let's see see the strike here, guys. Started to the right and went more to the right. The strike was right in the center, Tony. Okay. Maybe slightly low of what we were talking about, but like center, center. Okay. So I got 0.5 into out. Okay, that would be pretty darn good. Yep, I'm happy with that. But the face was open. Yeah, let's and not worry. Let's just yeah, that's going to create the spin. But let's let's kind of correlate the 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 club head speed to ball speed and well, then location. Fast. So that's 112 and 158. Yeah, so that was better. Yeah. Yeah, because that was 0.2 of a mile an hour slower club head speed than before, but it was two miles an hour faster ball speed, I think? Correct. Okay, so that's a little hotter. Um, you guys will see in the Reactionary Golf Masterclass, a lot of people, this thing that's at BeBetterGolf.net, you guys can check out if you, it's a lot of detail. But a lot of people had a lot of questions about the lower body, and we just did a video where we weren't allowed, allowed to talk to the body. Now the, uh, the chains are off. We can go nuts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there, Tony, I definitely felt, w when I'm trying to feel this move here, I felt more this. Right. You know? There wasn't much flywheel happening. It was just straight this way, and I felt behind it. Exactly. And that's, then I got the it. open face open and everything. Open face, yeah. So one of the things, and kind of go shoot on face view, and what, what we're, what we're we're, we're uh, oh, like if changing I did this? in your golf swing. If I did this? Yeah, exactly. Okay. I'll step back. Great. Where I can swing. Okay, okay. It's, it's 4K, so you guys can make it full screen to see, see me closer. Okay, so one of the things we talked about was trying to get you out of what? Trying to get you out of this reverse K okay, position. Okay, that's set up Yeah, here. because when you get that, where's all the pressure? Go ahead and do that. So now you got so much pressure where? Back here. Uh -huh. Yeah, definitely. How are you going to get all this pressure going forward? Well, Tony, I've always been afraid of, at impact, being offsides and over here like this, mm -hmm. you know? So I'm kind of like presetting here and then, and then but now, holding to, to, you know? Yeah, but yeah. now you kind of get stuck back there. So yeah. then what is the reaction? Well, let me get up there and you'll okay. get up there no matter what. So now if we stay a little bit more neutral, now it's going to be easier to kind of deliver that club. See, because angle of attack is really the relationship between we'll say the handle and the hands to the club head that's what we're looking at where is that so i can be very shallow angle of attack and have everything forward i would just move the ball forward move my hands forward move the club forward that's still very shallow mm -hmm. so i don't have to be back here to create shallow if i'm back here i'm i'm bottoming out so what ends up happening is you start shifting and everything else trying to get up there why not just start a little bit more neutral and then that way we were more square and now my body's more this way into the ball pushing it hard to push it from back mm -hmm. here yeah one thing that messed me up a little bit and i know that messed up there's uh two different major champions that won one major and then like almost completely disappeared off the pga tour in the late 2000s um i have an idea who they're talking about when they say this but i'm almost positive who it is uh changed their game after, remember about like TrackMan became really hot about 2009, yeah. 2008, 2009. And the data was showing that, man, like if you can get to like five degrees up, you know, you're going to like, you're going to turn your 270 yard carry into a, into a 292 yard carry. And they have the data about how much up you go. That get started getting me even more K because I could see, you know, when I go to the golf shop, I was a little down. Yeah. So I was like, man, I really want to get up, up, up. So this, that's like, okay, I want to get up. How, how does that mess people up? Well, what ends up happening is you would then have to go to a lower loft to driver. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because the more up I'm at, the ball is going to launch higher. So now I take the loft down. Okay. okay. This is what the long driver guys will do. They'll go four or five degree loft to drivers, but what do you see them? way back here so they're hitting off the right side because what does taking the loft do it reduces backspin so now that the clubs have gotten better with reducing backspin we don't need to make that modification we can come in level and straight 
and not worry about it spinning. So it was just a design of the club head. And the idea of trying to launch it up can get people to set up like this and then fall back more like this exactly. rather than going. Going through it. Okay, I'm gonna try that now. Really having my attention where my strike's gonna, my impact is gonna feel that way and I'm gonna drive forward. Yeah, and just try to stay a little bit more straight to the ball, not to the side. Oh, great shot. Man, I'd take that all day. Okay. So 110, 111. And 157. So, so uh, let's see where that hit on the face. Increase the smash factor by even more. Exactly the same spot. It, it, just, it just repeated. The face, the face strike just repeated. It just went right on top of the other one. So center a little low. So let's do I mean, this. Let's try to, let, let's play around with this. And, and mm -hmm. we're going to challenge your talents this morning. Give me a, a maybe adjust the T height so we get a little bit higher. Okay. And let's see what we get. We're only talking maybe, what, a quarter of an inch? Now, a lot of people watching this would be like, if I had the control to hit it in a quarter inch. Like, sometimes you tell, like, your students, you are telling me uh, uh, at the school, Tony, I was hearing guys say, like, you'd say, like, okay, you want that to go, you know, two degrees more in, out. And they're like, well, if I can control that. But it, it's worthwhile to try, right? Well, yeah. yeah. I mean, think about it. If, you know, asking the guys, they said, okay, take a nail and hammer it. Do you think they could do that pretty easily? Yeah. Uh-huh. That is a, such a small head on that nail and the hammer. Now, again, it's a shorter distance. Yes, yeah. that's the, but in a sense, that builds out the whole motor pr program for everything. So it's just something to train yourself. Why not simplify the process, focus in on that external mm -hmm. focus, have that external focus, and just learn that delivery. Okay, so my, the, Tony's challenge to me, let's get this a quarter inch. A little higher. Which is like... Everything else being the same. Let's just try to do teed it up a little bit. Yeah, let's see, it's a little higher. So normally Perfect. I'm like halfway above the crown. Now I'm like 90% of the way above okay. the crown. Let's just see. Again, don't try to alter the swing. Just make that good. Forward with the forward. idea of impact here. Exactly. And stay, again, and stay more here, not reverse K. I, I'm not making a new mark. <laughs> I mean, consistency-wise, I've hit three balls, and all three have covered the same spot, but I'm adjusting to... I'm hitting it exactly the same. Numbers-wise, Tony, I did an instant repeat as far as ball speed. Another one, 110 and 157. 110 yeah. club, 157 ball speed. I mean, you're just nailing that spot. Okay. So a little, let's go a little even more higher. You feel pretty darn high. And there, I'm really gonna put my brain into that little spot there and impacts it in front. I think that was higher. It, it was, was higher, higher, a little more on the yeah. toe. It, it was higher and, and that 110 again uh 158 so a little a little faster mm -hmm. and uh great spin for me i think i didn't see the spin number i saw two something spin. which is usually yeah for me. 20 26 26 okay so good spin not not awesome spin but good spin and so that was a little higher a little bit more on the toe so guys now we're going to get really a lot of people have asked a lot about the lower body and stuff like that we're going to do a video right now for the reactionary golf master class so you can see the rest of this video at BeBetterGolf.net slash premium. You go to Reactionary Golf Masterclass. You'll see the rest of this. We'll start to talk about this uh, smothering move that, that it feels like to me, but more, more of this flywheel move of how the lower body works. And that video starts right now. Okay, Tony, so. It's really close, just had the face a little closed. Oh, hot. 115 speed, so the clip head speed, and it was 0.2 from out to in. 
Excellent. 162 ball speed, so that more, that's faster. It's less stuck maybe and faster arms. Yep. Because yeah, because that's what we want. We want to be able to go as fast as possible with the arms from a, from a good position. You can't, your arms can't go fast enough. 